In this video, we'll look at how to get an article from article first to EndNote. What's different about this from Wilson Select is the article linker. Well, our article first isn't a full text database, and so there's a weird little way for you to get the full text. So we're going to go through that. The other thing is, um, when I show you this, there are some places where it'll probably ask you a pass ask you for a password, and it it won't on my screen because I have my browser remembering the password. Um, but if it asks you a few times along the way to ask for your password, it's because you're jumping from different resources. So we'll, we'll talk about that as we go through. We're going to follow the same pattern we have as, as we have in the other videos. Log in, get our bib information, go get the full text, and then check the APA. All right, so let's start by logging in. We're going to go to the Andrews Library webpage. We're going to go to List All Databases. And we're going again to first search. And it's going to ask me for my password. Again, this is your Andrews account. And we wait for it. All right, here's my first search page. And this time, I want to search with article first. And this is going to scroll down off of what you can't see. There we go. Article first. I'm going to search video conference again. And here's my search button. All right, now we get another list again. We didn't comment on this with the last video, but we do have this icon here that shows Andrews University. That means Andrews actually owns the item, which means you could get it from there if you wanted to. All right, so that was our login and search, and now we're going to get the bibliographic information into EndNote. So let's come back here. This one sounds really interesting. Facilitator's roles. I'm clicking the checkbox over here to mark it. Again, you could mark a whole bunch. That's how I usually do it, is mark a whole bunch of them and go back and get all the full text. But we'll just get one for now. And let me scroll up, up to these menus, and I want to export. And I'm exporting my marked record, just this one. And I'm going to click Export open. Again, it's going to come up to wanting to know which file are you putting this in. I'm going to choose my Lit Review EndNote file, click Open, and it's importing. There's the importing screen. Whoops. <laughs> All right, and then this comes up. Choose an import filter, and this time I took it from Article first. Here we go. And I'm going to choose. And now it has opened up my EndNote. And here's this article that I want to get. All right, so it's an EndNote. And that was my first step. The next thing I need to do is get the full text. And this is where it gets a little interesting and may ask you for a password a few times along the way. So I'm going to come back into Internet Explorer where I have my first search and I'm going to go back to my marked records and here's my record and it says at Andrews. I'm going to actually click on the record to get more information about it and here's this nice little link that says search for, for full text. I'm going to click on that and another window opens up and this is where it may ask you for a password again because you're actually going to another site and this is, um, let me just show you this, this is the article, article linker and you'll see this in some of the other resources um, in future tutorials about articles. So this is an important thing. All right, I'm going to try this link right here. I could try a couple of these. I know for sure this one works. I'm going to do article and it opens up yet another window and may ask you again for a password. And I believe it's coming. This is going to the Springer Link website. And here's the article, all the information about it. It has an export down here, but don't let that mislead you because it's actually only the citation. You want to look for a PDF 
right here. It also has the abstract and keywords, but the full text is what I'm looking for, and here's the PDF. So I click on this, and this only works because we came to it from the, the Andrews web page. If you came to it directly going to Springer, you won't be able to download the full text. All right, this is from 2005. My author's head is Stig, and what I want to do is see how many pages it is, and I'm going to save. And I want to put this just like the other ones in my full text folder. And we're this is by Head S Dig 2005 Facilitator Role. And it was how many pages? I gotta find that again. 13 pages. And then I'm going to click save. Now it's in my full text folder and now I want to get it to EndNote. So I'm going to pull EndNote back up again. Now I'm switching to EndNote. This is crazy because you get a lot of windows with this method because of art how the article linker works. Alright, and here's my reference in EndNote. I want to right click on it. Let me scroll up so you can see. Right click on it, choose File Attachments, Attach File. I'm going to go into my All Full Text folder and where did that one go? Head, H-E-D. You can see I am getting quite a collection. There we go. Head is tag, and I'm going to click open. And now I have my attachment. All right, so I logged in and searched. I got my bibliographic information by doing the export inside article first in OCLC. Then I clicked on the reference to get the article linker, and that led me down quite a little trail got my full text, have it attached into EndNote. Now I need to check my APA format. So let's see what this did when it came in. All right, this happens to me a lot, is this author stuff gets all messed up. Whoops. So let me show you how you can fix that. If you double click on the reference, this comes up. Oh, I see. See, it's got this guy's where he works in here. I don't need any of this. So I'm going to get all this gone and notice that I have one author on the first line, the second author on the second line, and the year came in properly this time. I can see already that something is weird with this um, number. Look at this, the numbers came in wrong. So this one is actually, the journal is seven. The issue number was one, and here's my pages. All right, I think that's right, so I'm going to do Control s to save, Control w to close that window. Come back here and look at this. All right, I have my author, my date, my title, my uh, journal that it's from, as well as the page numbers. I noticed another, another thing that I might have forgotten before, and that is this title is all supposed to be lowercase. So let me just fix that. And I'm going to Control S to save, Control W to close. And there we go. I think I have that one correct now. I could also add this to um, put in the label that I want to put on it, as well as put in what database. I like to know what database I got it from. So actually, I'm going to add that as well. I'm going to scroll down in my record. And this came from Article First, Control S, Control W. And now I know what database it came from, and I've got all of my information. So to review, we logged in. We used the export in OCLC to get the bibliographic information. We used the article linker to get the full text, and we fixed our APA format.